there. I've been wanting to try the punch needle for a long time now, especially since everybody was making rugs two years ago. And today, that day has finally come for me. I got this set a week ago. And usually you would buy a monk's cloth with it and put it on a canvas for however big you want the rug or whatever you're making to be. But I went the resourceful way and I had this linen at home for a while. I mean, it's not the same as monk's cloth, but the holes are big enough for me to use the smallest needle size on the punch needle. And it goes really well with these embroidery hoops. So I got three of these and I also have yarn at home. I already made a plan for how I want it to be. But, you know, I've never done this before, so I don't know how long one will take, let alone all three of them. But first of all, I need to get this on my linen. these on and what I did is I also put this wavy design in the back because I'm gonna use these so I have this white yarn for the letters and then these ombre cakes for the colored part and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the letters in from this side so it's gonna be more smooth on this side and then the loopy part will be in the back and then this colored yarn I'm gonna put in from the back so the loops will be in the front. I hope it's gonna be a nice textural difference. It's gonna be a surprise for both of us. And now let's do some punching and some hoopin. Let's do the punch. <laughs> the first letters it was more difficult than I thought it would be actually so I think I'm getting better with some practice but I'm afraid the second and third one will look much better than this one <laughs> but we'll have to live with the imperfections it's 2 38 now and I'm really excited to see how long the first hoop will take me because I'm gonna start with the colors now <laughs> took 
me about one hour. This is a slow process. <laughs> I've been mainly on side quests and I didn't have time to do much punch needling at all but yesterday we had friends over and a friend of mine actually helped me fill this part in and then we both realized the more we put in the less the letters are visible so now I have to decide whether I'm gonna keep these letters in or just take them out completely because it's I don't think they're gonna be visible and also if you can't see the oh you could even I might as well not do the other two because it's just gonna be three abstract projects but for that I think I'm just gonna keep going for now and see how it's look how, how it's gonna look in the end and then we can decide together let's do this <laughs> So this is my fourth day working on this and it's my first ever punch needle project so i usually tend to be over ambitious and i just want to do it right the first time i do it or at least do something impressive or more advanced the first time i do it i could have used bigger yarn i could have gotten monk's cloth a bigger needle size and then just you know i would have been done in a day or two at most also i want to do three of these three of these and one of this probably if i would work on it all day would take me a whole day and a half maybe and then you have two more i'm just very slow because my friend yesterday when she helped me she had never done this before and she was so much quicker than me i was like girl how Tell me your secrets. But the secret is, you just do it. Just do it! I just found out I passed all of my exams. I'm getting much quicker at this my progress and i only have two colors left like here here and then there and then i'm done so i think this should take me about two more hours i'm gonna watch something now and keep what do you call this do you call this punching the needle is it punch needling i don't know i should have done my research beforehand i know anyway
I'm on my last hoop and boy oh boy I gotta tell you something about punch needling itself it's fun I have a bit of a problem because I've been trying to finish this for over a week now and I already had repetitive motion injury or I don't know how you exactly call it but in my thumb and my wrist so this movement all the time with my thumb pressing down is not very good for me and I don't know I don't think I'm gonna be doing this anytime soon again that is my fault because I decided to do something like this I could have done something else I could have done a rock I didn't and that's on me but punch needling itself if you've never done it before I I'd say try it out because it's fun and you can do it by itself in silence if you want I listen to audiobooks, I watched YouTube videos, I watched um, movies or series or whatever we were watching. As long as you've finished all the planning beforehand and you've drawn everything on, you don't really have to think that much either, so you can just do it. It's like knitting in the round when you don't have any increases or decreases and you just have to go for about 20 centimeters, so you just do the same thing over and over again. It becomes very... it becomes meditative. Is that how you say it? I don't know. But now let me just finish this so I can finally show you how it looks when it's done. <laughs> coming on this ride with me it was very difficult at times it took much longer than i thought and as i anticipated the letters are not as visible as they should be but you know you know what's written there i know what's written there so that's enough for me and if you make a punch needle project for yourself let me know down below and let me know what you made i'm very excited to see those and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>